Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, in Windows, you uh, Windows 11, you also have a disk cleanup tool. And if you've moved from Windows 10 to Windows 11 at some point, one of the things that can happen is you might have an old install folder, old files from Windows. So if you go to your file explorer and check out this PC and your C drive, you might notice that a folder called windows.old exists. This contains an older installation files. It's there because, you know, Windows gives you a certain amount of time to roll back, 10 days typically. And so they keep files so that you can roll back safely. But these files will be left behind after Windows has now continued to be used. And of course, you're not going to use that anymore. So when you want to have and claim some space back in Windows 11, and of course this is also just claiming up space for whatever is happening in Windows 11. Um, if you have a lot of space used and you're wondering what is actually using it, simply search for the disk cleanup tool and the disk cleanup tool, disk cleanup, will give you the tool which is the same tool that's been in Windows for a long time to clean up. So the first page will show you the cleanup files that you have standard. So recycle bin, I have four gigabytes. Um, direct at cache that has, um, is it, no, whoops, sorry. The delivery optimization files at one and a half. But there's more to that. On the bottom left, you have cleanup system files. When you run this one, it's going to take longer to analyze the drive, but it's going to also have more things that you can remove that might be there and you don't want them anymore. Particularly what's in that Windows.old folder, this is what's called previous Windows installations. This is what is left in that folder. The folder will still be there at the end. It will still be a Windows.old folder left, but what's in it is going to be removed. And of course, you can manually remove the windows.old after all of this is done. Make sure you don't have any files missing before you do it, because sometimes some of the files that you might have missing are in that folder. Now you have the same panel, but now you've added the previous Windows install. You see here it's taking 12.6 gigabytes on my computer. I can remove that. We'll clean up this recycle bin at the same time. We're already at 17 gigabytes that's cleaned up, which is pretty cool. So that and anything left, um, Windows, download, you know, for the rest it's okay uh, for the uh, different files, I think. So once that is done, uh, we're going to, well, delivery optimization files maybe. Here we go. Let's do that. And now we're going to click OK. It's going to ask you, do you want to delete the files? And here I've deleted and will have deleted what is close to 20 gigabytes of data. So if you have a small hard drive, this makes a huge world of difference and will actually help you claim a lot of space back. So here you have, um, if you clean previous Windows install, it will no longer to be restore the machine back to previous versions of Windows. I don't care since I can't or I can really doesn't matter anymore. So you click yes and you let it uh, erase all the files that it needs to erase. And like that, you will have gotten a lot of gigabytes back. And if you have a small hard drive, well, like I said, could make a world of difference. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.